everyone, this is Feral. Hopefully the first thing you've noticed is the new title card that you can probably see on the screen right now. I'm also going to apologize, this is a little bit of a spoilery title card, but, well, the old title card just wasn't really cutting it anymore. Uh, didn't really look all that great, and, well, I mean, I just like how this looks better. So, this is going to be a new title card going forward. And, um, also, speaking of quality, hopefully the other thing that you're probably noticing right now is that I sound a lot different. Uh, apparently the Windows update, Windows 10 update I did last week uh, resurrected my webcam audio somehow. It wasn't working before, but it's working now. And uh, I found out the microphone on that sounds much better than the uh, other microphones that I have to work with. So I'm going to be using this microphone from now on. The audio quality should be much better. Uh, the only thing I'm not entirely sure of is how it's going to interact with the uh, audio from games and everything, so there's going to be a little bit of uh, of a learning curve to this, I'm afraid. So the quality is going to get a little better, but it might get a little worse. So I do apologize for that in advance. Uh, the other problem is it's going to take a little while for the updated audio to actually kick in because I'm sitting on about a two-month buffer of videos right now. I do apologize for that. Uh, it's entirely my fault, and it's a combination of the real world getting in the way, uh, along with getting addicted, like everyone else, to Fallout 4. Uh, it's the first time I've actually ever played a game in the Fallout series. I've been following Zombie Cleo's uh, Fallout 3 playthrough, the Narcissist run, and her current Narcissist run in Fallout 4. And uh, really kind of enjoyed both, since so I sat down and got the game. I'm, I'm not usually the... I'm more the pen and paper RPG type, and not so much the uh, on-the-computer RPG type. I mean, I couldn't really be bothered with Skyrim, and I've got a one or two games on Steam for trying to play some RPGs, but I just didn't really like it. But I'm, I'm kind of getting into Fallout 4, so... I'm actually going to throw in a little clip here in a little bit, kind of as a uh, tide over moment. Now, it's not Minecraft, and I do apologize, it's not Spawncraft. It actually is something in Fallout 4 that I encountered today. I thought it was uh, uh, kind of amusing, and I uh, hope it kind of tides you over. Uh, I do have plenty of footage that I need to get going. Like I said, I've got about two months of footage for Spawncraft. Uh, we've got that first server event footage, uh, Mega Dungeon Raid, and uh, build progress updates on Equinox Seaside, which of course you're getting a very big spoiler of that right now, and um, the various holiday festivities that I've been kind of playing with on the server. So please enjoy this interim clip, and I'll be back in a little bit, and I promise I'll be back with some more Spawncraft really soon. Alright, take care. Okay, strange things in Fallout 4. Uh, chapter 7. Um, near the mole rats or yagwais? Uh, just kind of midair, apparently. Um, as far as the game is concerned, it's not like they're there. Uh, I can't seem to target them in bats or anything. I can certainly shoot them. Okay. I'm actually kind of, um, I'm amused. And, and I actually have a great chance to demonstrate this because I have the weapons workbench here, which I didn't even realize was here. You see, I've got this double kill sniper rifle here. Double damage if the target is at full health. Now, I've already managed to get up to 77 damage, which is pretty good. Um, I've got a decent supply of ammo for it, provided I don't go hog wild on it. The rate of fire sucks, but the range is absolutely awesome. The accuracy is great. This thing, when I've been using it, has been good enough to effectively... Uh, I, I ran across the behemoth that was out by the uh, elevated highway over towards the uh, Mass Pike Interchange, I think it is. And... I, I mean, obviously, right off the bat, it's the fact that, okay, if I sneak, you know, I'm doing double damage with the target's full health now. Also add on to that the two times multiplier if I'm doing a sneak attack on it. This thing, very nearly as it is, took out a behemoth with one shot. It actually took a second shot to follow up on it, but it took it down. Um, now, comparatively speaking, if I threw a mini nuke at that thing, because of the radiation resistance it's got, it would barely scratch the surface on it. 